What up? This is the man who 41, aka Mr. Yogi. What I was doing here today, I had to go back and um, check my wiring because I was told that when you have the amp strapped, that uh, you can only do a uh, two ohm load. So I went back and checked it, and and I had mine wired down to a um, one ohm load. Which was, um, that means I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think that means when the after strap at a one ohm load that's getting 0.5 ohms per amp impedance. So, and my amps are not 0.5 <laughs> stable at all. And uh, so I went back and rewired it to, I had to wire everything up to 4 ohm. Because uh, the, the subs I have are dual 2 ohms. So I just rewired them up to 4 ohms so that if, if everything is right, if I did it right, each amp is at uh, 2 ohm lows, which is great for me. So I shouldn't have any problems at all. But um, that's just an update on what I was doing. And uh, just for anyone else who wasn't for sure of what they were doing or how it worked and um, I just want to give a big up to uh, Diesel Diesel Dog 20 for the uh, tip appreciate it what up this is the man who is 41 aka Mr. Yogi um, I went back and rewired my speakers down to um, up to a four forum load uh, it sounds pretty good. I just have to add more, <clears throat> more volume now to get what I was uh, getting at a lower volume. Say, for instance, if I had my volume when I had them loaded, when I had my subs wired down to a one ohm load with the amp strap, it was hitting so hard on like volume on the radio on the hit unit, <clears throat> like on volume five. I mean, that joker was banging, slapping, knocking niggas out and everything. But uh, I went back and rewired them because I was told that when the amps are strapped, it's best to run no matter two ohm load. So and with the four subs I have, they're dual two ohms. And I only had two choices, either running at a one ohm load or a four ohm load. And I'm not really understanding as far as the strapping stuff goes. But I was told that when you have your amp strapped that you can't run them at a 1 ohm load. They can only be run at a 2 ohm load. I'm not for sure how true that is or not. But I liked it better when I had my uh, subs wired to a 1 ohm load. Um, it hit harder. Uh, had didn't have to add too much bass into it. Didn't have to turn the volume up. But now I have a four ohm load. It still sounds really, really good. But um, now I just have to, you know, give it a little bit more volume and a little bit more bass now. But other than that, the Scorpio hole is on point. It's hitting hard. And I was also told that um, if I wasn't having any problems, you know, with it um, wired at uh, one ohm, shit, let it rip. I'm thinking about rewiring it back to the way I had it at first at the one ohm load. But um, anyone that knows anything more, that's more knowledgeable, more knowledgeable than I am about the strapping and the ohms uh, how to wire in the subs to feel free to um, give me your opinion and let me know because I'm always open for opinions and tips and comments uh, I got my panels in I'm just waiting on paint so I can uh, paint the wall in the panels and everything. I call it the wall now because I put it in the field panels. 
but um, that's all I'm waiting on now is and for the rain to stop. I haven't uh, been able to do any outside videos because it's been raining for the last two or three days. So um, the video is coming. So just be patient and appreciate everyone's support. This is the Man Hood 41, aka Mr. Yogi. Bye again.